अंधश मे हृत विवेको महाधन से चौर प्रभो बलिभिंद्रियो नाम धेव महांदकूपे कुहरे विनिपाति देशो दे कृपन से कराबल अंधश मे हृत विवेक महाधन से चौर चौर प्रभु बलिंद्रियो नाम धेव महांदकूपकुहरे विनिपाति देशो दे कृपन से कराबल गौरी गोष्ठी भक्ति गौरी गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट दिस होल दैट टू गेट फुली सरेंडर बाय योर आत्मा व्हेन यू विल बी डूइंग दैट ओनली देन ओनली यू कैन गो अहेड एंड यू कैन गेट दैट परम मंगल इन योर लाइफ यू कैन गेट दैट अरेंजमेंट इन योर लाइफ ऑफ परम मंगल गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परम जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दैट टॉप मोस्ट वेन यू आर डूइंग आत्म समर्पण ऑन टू द लोटस वीट ऑफ भगवान ओनली देन ओनली यू कैन गेट द एक्चुअल मंगन इन योर लाइफ दैट श्री गुरु पाद पद्म दैट ही इज माई ही इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रॉइंग माई अज्ञान एंड ऑल माई नॉन एलिजिबिलिटी and whatever is there inside my that non eligibility is there inside me that kind of foolishness is there i am foolish number 1 in my life that inside me that different different kinds of uh, asat vichar pranali actually going on inside me that whatever is going instability is there inside me that uh, all unstable siddhant vichar i am actually just getting uh, diving into that all the time and guru pad padmi in this uh, vishay he is he is actually giving his kipa he just want to give his kipa to me guru pad padma in this vishay i just want that in what situation i am put it into and i am such a fallen condition that guru pad padma actually knows each and everything and he is avigya vastu and he is the gyata he knows everything in what condition i am put it into and that's why whatever kind of uh, disease i have that whatever kind of disease i have inside me this uh, disease that uh, in order to just treat that uh, guru guru pad padma is doing that he is arranging to treat my tre- material disease he is actually want to treat my material disease according to my uh, my condition he wants to treat that like what kind of uh, material disease i have that according to that disease uh, guru pad padma is actually creating that kind of treatment and situation in order to treat that is uh, material disease prabhu pad ji has spoken a lot of uh, time before he has just written one article that is called godia hospital in that different different kind of patients are coming here in this godia mat and each and every patient has different different kind of diseases inside them and for that that lot of medicines are there different medicine and which medicine is required for a particular patient and and there is also doctor doctor means that vaidya is there that who are actually just doing uh, the giving treatment but now actually all reverse is going they are actually opening the hospital and and there is no doctor there at all <laughs> no no all patients are there nobody is doctor big 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 patients all patients are actually there in full but no treatment is there for them no doctor is there no medicine is there no doctor is there so this is the actual condition now what is what to do that is called guru pad padma by in front of whom when we are going that that other kind of advice we don't have that kind of eligibility to just hear that it is not at all required to hear the advice of others by just coming in front of that person from inside our heart from inside our heart that kind of 
just by getting uh, onto his lotus feet from inside our heart that from our inner self that whatever inside our heart in our inner self all kind of uh, desires and uh, problems are there everything will get solved that is called sadguru by from the lotus meet of uh, that sadguru that i don't need to hear any kind of i don't wish to hear any kind of updesh from anyone that is called guru pad padma sadguru pad padma that is the mangal swarup of all the mangal swarup that bhagwan that uh, our mangal that all the mangal what we are having that whatever the mangal that situation uh, that uh, which is actually everything is there on the palm of the guru pad padma that is actually guru pad padma who is taking our full responsibility so this that sid that sadguru charan that 100% that 100 and 100% that at by getting atma samarpan we are getting then we can do that then automatically then guru pad padma will also will be giving me that absolute mangal in my life he will be giving me that if inside our heart our sanagat is not at all there then absolute mangal that param mangal how he can give us how we can get that up till that point that we are going according to our own self that we are going according to our own bhav of our own self we are moving that i have different kind of vichar with my gurudev and there is some kind of differences with my vichar in with gurudev that whatever vichar is there everything is going according to my own vichar that my own bhav that i want to just keep it secret in uh, with my gurudev so up that that up till that point gurudev cannot give us 100% uh, mangal if we are having actually having that kapat bhav inside our and going to gurudev then we will be just destroying our life completely if we have kapat bhav and we are actually going to gurucharan by that by and just by showing those people that i am actually gurudev sevak like all people are doing they are actually just taking the gurudev asan that's why they are just making one uh, fun of making guru seva and after they are actually all mayavadis that they are just kicking gurudev after that and they are taking the asan of gurudev they want to take that all mayavadis are actually doing that that with kapat bhav to just take kapat bhav and just going to gurudev in order to just show to those uh, people this kind of vichar this kind of kapat bhav is that guru pad padma will also he will be just uh, cheating us he will be just cheating us like that he will not be giving us the actual thing in our life that money kanchan fame name position he will be giving us and that will be kicking us in this material world guru pad padma will say that you are not my disciple at all you are not at all eligible to be my disciple you are you are cannot take my you cannot take my strict rules and regulations what i have put it in front of you you don't have that capacity to just uh, uh, take my strict rules and regulations there is some kind of uh, kapatta is there inside you that for those kapat people this kind of vichar in order to just uh, understand that vichar still you just want to hear that kapat vichar of those material people you have that desire inside your heart still that kamna vasana that uh, hearing organ still it is uh, not at all ready that in order to catch that aprakrit shabd brahm your hear ears are not at all ready not eligible to catch that whatever is required up till now it is not at all uh, in a, it is just in a developing state it is not at all completely developed you are actually just uh, getting destroyed you want to destroy my me but you are yourself getting destroyed guru pad padma that whatever kind of uh, condition he is putting me into that whatever th- uh, whatever punishment he is giving and whatever strict rules he is putting in front of me without any objection i have to tra- take that as prasadam that with full sharnagati inside our my inside my heart i have to accept that because guru charan 
that guru charan that kind of strict student regulation that punishment also and even the prema of gurudev is all the same punishment is also uh, prem and prabhupad speaking this point that when if gurupad padma can give me punishment then it is equivalent to his prema that is his kripa and sometimes he is giving me prema and full blessings that it is all the same that that adi kavi brahma ji also that uh, onto the lotus feet of bhagwan when uh, he has just shown sharanapati he has just made the arrangement of sharanapati sharanagati up uh, then bhagwan actually has given all his all his things to him that every uh, hidden hidden secret bhagwan has just opened in front of brahma ji that what kind of kripa bhagwan has given just by kind of uh, what kind of things he has shown that his own swarup and his own dham and his naam everything bhagwan has just manifested in front of brahma ji by his kripa just by the kripa of bhagwan everything is get manifested all that kind of hidden secret that are in front of adi guru brahma that bhagwan is that by our own uh, by our own uh, by our own efforts we cannot understand guru pad padma at all by our own efforts self efforts you cannot know me bhagwan speaking this in front of brahma ji this is actually my kripa on you that you can understand me and there are in this infinity uh, srishti that infinity creation that brahma ji has got the responsibility of this infinity creation it's already there in the palm palms of brahma in the hands of brahma and after that bhagwan actually giving full kripa to brahma and speaking that this which i have already told you this this kind of topmost gyan hidden treasure this i have i am giving it to you you just need to take that accept that this which are if you will just take that you will accept that which are what i am actually speaking in front of you then definitely in your whole life maya devi will not catch you at all etat matam means that those that bhagavat tattva ve gyan that bhagavat tattva ve gyan that i have already given you i have already spoken in front of you that etam matam samatishtha not tishtha it's samatishtha you just need to take you just go, uh, go dive deep into it parame samadhina samadhi samatishtha first he is speaking bhagwan and with full uh, deep mood you just need to get deep dive into that deep ocean of rasa you just you just get that to- topmost samadhi in that topmost samadhi you get that that without my lotus feet if you you so that you can't find anything apart from my guru charan when apart from pure guru vishnu charan and we are actually act, other things are coming in my heart then definitely it is the actual arrangement of maya devi this is actual arrangement of maya devi that's why brahma ji bhagwan has given that full aashirwad and blessings to brahma ji and that's why he is speaking bhagwan that you that from one kalp to other kalp and third kalp like this all this kalp will be going on slowly steadily that that you will not be getting attracted to anything there is no chance of getting attracted to maya this is my actually blessings to you that previous day i was actually discussing that shambhu linga about shambhu ling i have already discussed that uh, that that which different different shlok that particular shlok i have already just discussed in front of you and after that that shri krishna upasya tatva and after that and from from the 2 to 5th shlok that krishna dham gola golok dham nirupan tatva i have described and 6 to 7 that krishna bhairanga maya that kind of relationship that bhagwan has no kind of direct connection with maya at all indirectly and 8 to 9 shloka that ukt maya sangi that linga tatva i am actually describing that 
about this i am actually just kind of trying to discuss that and after that when you will we will be going ahead that srishti tatva creation tatva garbodakshai mahavishnu from him that satva that satva rajo and tamogo this kind of adide swarup actually is coming mahavishnu not that adi Ad, adirudo vishnu that he is actually getting manifested and after that that kind of creation and what is the relationship of jivas with this uh, prakriti and bhagwan about this that i'll be discussing it later and i'll be discussing it and today from 8 to 9 shloka 8th and 9th shloka about that that i'll be discussing previous day actually i was discussing Maheshwari like from Kunti it's Konteo in the same way from Maheshwari it's in this material world that all different kind of Maheshwari uh, Praja is there population we are finding Maheshwari that this actually is actually following Linga Yoni it is all coming from Linga Yoni it means that this is not a slag language that i'm speaking bhakti no thakur actually speaking this is one typical terminology which will be using to describe this this is not a slag language at all this is not at all dirty thing linga you just need to explain that what is the actual hidden secret behind this the actual secret is that that i have already told it before as well in front that whatever kind of infinity jivas that in this infinity brahman where all infinity jivas are there in this infinity brahman that all the jivas that they have actually came from bhagwan only they in gita bhagwan also actually speaking bhagwan actually in gita actually speaking that you see that he is my actual ansh he is my only part infinitesimal part that all infinite infinitesimal jivas infinity jivas what you are finding here on this material infinity planets actually everyone actually is coming from me only and by speaking this word hans if actually someone speaking that uh, just be just uh, just like dust particle you are just uh, Uh, cutting bhagwan into small pieces it's not like that this is jivatma this conception is totally wrong you cannot cut bhagwan into pieces i have already told a lot of time before that in bhagavad dham that even one dust particle also of that bhagavad dham that even the dust particle of that bhagavad dham that is chinmay transcendental in nature that bhagavad dham even one dust particle that is actually uh, transcendental in nature and bhagwan that some part is there and some whatever uh, uh, part of bhagwan is there it is just like in uh, transcendental it is complete totally complete because bhagwan is actually complete vastu is complete object and the actual definition of complete object is in rare in isho isho upanishad bhagwan actually is complete object and bhagavad dham is also complete object and bhagwan name is also complete object and bhagwan dham that whatever uh, object is there that is also complete object even the dust particle also is itself complete in this situation so this kind of siddhant it is not at all good to speak that it doesn't mean that uh, bhagwan is actually some that it's uh, that sachidanand swarup of bhagwan you are actually cutting it into pieces it's not like that this kind of wrong siddhant it is there why because you already know this point that those who are god your devotees they already know this point what i am going to speak that uh, god your devotees that in chaitanya 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 bhagavat they have just uh, heard in uh, the anugatya of uh, pure guru vishnu then they can understand that jeevas that jeev is actually tatasya shakti that inside the jivas if some kind of uh, uh, in the ji- some kind of fault or errors are there definitely in the jivas are bonded jivas all some faults and errors are there and bhagwan is a absolute complete vastu 
एंड जीव इज ऑल्सो कम्प्लीट वस्तु बट इज एक्चुअली इन्फाइट एसिमली स्मॉल भगवान इज एक्चुअली पूर्ण वस्तु दैट टॉप मोस्ट कम्प्लीट वस्तु भगवान इज एक्चुअली विभू ट्रांसडेंटल वस्तु बट जीवा इज इन्फाइट एसिमल वेरी स्मॉल सो मच स्मॉल सो मच स्मॉल ही इज बट स्टिल दैट क्वालिटेटिवली इट इज वन एट द सेम इन ऑन बोथ द विचार इट इज ऑल द सेम दैट भगवान इज सचिद आनंदमय एंड ईच एंड एवरी जीवात्मा दैट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर स्वरूप इज एक्चुअली सचिद आनंद बट स्टिल बाय द एक्चुअल इन द देर इज हंड्रेड परसेंट पॉसिबिलिटी टू गेट इन द वे ऑफ माया वाई बिकॉज भगवान इज एक्चुअली कंप्लीट वस्तु एंड शुद्र वस्तु जीवा ही इज एक्चुअली वेरी वीक डेफिनेटली ही इज चिन्ह में बट स्टिल ही इज एक्चुअली सो मच वीक दैट जीव जीवात्मा दैट बाय द एक्चुअल ट्रैप ऑफ माया दे विल बी जस्ट पॉसिबिलिटीज देयर टू गेट ट्रैप्ड इन माया सो जीव आत्मा इज एक्चुअली अपूर्ण वस्तु दैट If we jivatma, you are actually thinking that it is actually one kind of infinite essence, part of Bhagwan. So this is actually direct part of Bhagwan. So if he is the direct part of Bhagwan, jiv jivas, definitely if okay, definitely if the dust, similarly the dust particle of Bhagwan, that Bhagwat Dham dust particle also it is equivalent to that. Why? Because that Bhagwat that that Bhagwan Nam, Bhagwan, Bhagwan Dham, Swaroop is all the same. so in that what will what is there that inside jivas that kind of weakness if it is there that inside jivas that kind of uh, uh, fault and errors are there jiv is so much weak that who is actually all the time getting trapped in maya they it's not like that if uh, he is actually in uh, he is actually bhagavatanch then how it is possible to get in contact with maya so that's why bhagwan that kind of he is actually the ansh part of the shakti jeev is actually is the tathasta shakti part jeev jeev shakti jeev shakti and maya shakti these three shaktis are there out of infinity shaktis but this chit shakti jeev shakti maya shakti are very much important to understand and this jeev shakti it is there that it is actual ansh of jeev shakti that it is actual part of the jeev जीव शक्ति दैट डेफिनेटली इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ शक्ति ओनली एंड इन द वेदांत सूत्र ऑल्सो इन वेदांत सूत्र दिस विच आर ऑलरेडी टोल्ड देयर इन वेदांत सूत्र दिस विच आर ऑलरेडी हैज बीन टोल्ड देयर सो ओके भगवान एंड that bhagwan shakti is not different from each other by on the basis of this vichar if uh, in gita bhagwan also speaking this definitely is correct point There is no fault in it that bhagwan that bhagwan tathasta shakti jeev shakti it is the actual ansh of that okay but still but still this ninth number shlok in this in brahm samhita already it is written the actual ling the, the purush ling that the upadan karan that shri stri shakti is a nimit karan that ling that that waste that by the actual association of ling in this material world that infinity whatever all jivas are there the by all these jivas that majeshwari praja means that they are actually the that all those uh, demigods asuras demons whatever are there what we are seeing they are actually all coming from maheshwari they are actually getting their uh, uh, birth from maheshwari only you understand what i am speaking and now uh, again and again we are discussing this siddhanta that bhagwan is actually nitya and jeevatma is also nitya bhagwan is nitya vastu and uh, infinity and uh, jeev, infinity jeevas infinity jeevas are also so why actually mara ji is speaking uh, more 
this all praja is actually coming in the category of maheshwari that you are actually speaking that you haven't understand what i'm speaking that jeevatma i haven't spoken that jeevatma has just uh, get uh, if you will be just uh, putting your head mind into this that in the starting of brahm samhita i'm also speaking this siddhant that whatever jeevas are there infinity jeevas this when all this creation will get destroyed completely then all the jeevas according to their previous sanskar they will be just taking that and they will be taking inside they will be getting uh, inside mahavishnu at that time before the creation they will be just staying into mahavishnu up till that point inside mahavishnu and when he will be going ahead when the creation will judge at the time when the creation will be done at that time bhagwan actually mahavishnu that kind of uh, uh, which i have already told you before only that the glance of bhagwan this that kind of glance what is bhagwan is doing in the gita also i have already told this charachar vishe that is called prakriti is taking that but it doesn't mean that all the jeevas definitely is actually doing jeevatma is actually nitya jeevatma is nitya prakriti that kind of srishti tattva that kind of hidden secret behind this srishti tattva this is very much important in this that prakriti is the actual amit karan like mother and father mother is a, mother is nimitta karan father is upadan karan and that's why after that by their association that child will get birth he will get avirbhav so this in this avirbhav what we are actually speaking that kind of uh, it is not surely not about jeevatma this definitely it is not at all applicable to jeevatma at all that this kind of uh, But not about that atma tattva that all the jeevas that that kind of subtle and fine body that whatever all the jeevas having in this five elements body they are actually getting a birth and inside their heart that definitely is fine body is also there that according to their karma full and sanskar it is actually all different but that is that is called the formation it is actually called the formation tattva that jeevatma is not at all formed at all that according to their own sanskar that infinity jeevas that who are actually inside the womb of prakriti they are coming inside the womb of kumiti uh, of uh, womb of prakriti those all people who are coming individuals who are coming that that mahavishnu is just putting a glance onto prakriti and prakriti is just getting pregnant by that so at that time all the jeevas is actually going into the womb of prakriti and after that each and every jeeva that according to their own previous karm full they are actually getting different different kind of bodies so that's why someone is getting that elephant some kumar lion and someone actually getting a snake body like someone actually becoming elephant you can see in gita already spoken spoken because this uh, uh, subtle body and ling it is actually related to our that ling yoni it is non different from it so that's why it is written here like that it means that this material world that infinity that infinity praja that this all actually the ling yoni atmak it means whether it is that whether he is she is a squirrel or whether it's a horse human being or elephant everything is actually getting from the womb of material maya only sometimes some difference is there but uh, it is getting still some speciality is there some sometimes we can see bichwa 
that uh, uh, scorpio sometimes actually he is getting from the mother and father he is getting uh, birth from scorpio he is getting birth by association of mother and father and sometimes you can see in the crude rice that uh, crude rice what you find inside that also scorpio can get his uh, avirbhav that when it is kept for lot of time then that same scorpio when it is becoming uh, that rice is becoming spoiled and after that from there scorpio is like, taking place taking birth but it will be taking a very in depth vichar in this also that uh, prakriti from the womb of prakriti actually it is coming because outside the womb of prakriti nothing is there that the prakriti is womb outside that nothing is there at all whether you can see scorpio is actually taking birth from mother father or in germany tech they are actually taking birth from the crude rice or which is actually spoiled for a long time from a rice which is actually that crude rice a lot of time before this kind of rice actually been put still from there also scorpio can take avirbhav but if this spine which are we can take that every one is in the womb of prakriti only and who is our father that shambhu ling is our actual father shambhu is our actual father about this this i have already told you previous week as well that uh, chatuspad vibhuti of bhagwan that actual opulence of bhagwan in that ashok amrit abhay that three path vibhuti that vaikunth golok adi is all actually opulent and this one path vibhuti that remaining one path vibhuti this also actually is infinite that bhagwan that one path vibhuti that is also infinity material brahmands are there just be careful on this point that this infinity this infinity brahmand this infinity uh, brahmand material brahmand there are actually infinity this is actually one path vibhuti now you can understand and make a calculation that one path vibhuti in material jagat is actually infinite so up till what kind of vichar we will be doing that that shivindavan and all that these are all three pad vibhuti dham ashok ko abhay amrito aadhar tumaro charan dayo dhaate kono bisram lobiya chari bhavite ro bhayo ashok abhay amrito aadhar tumaro charan dayo dhaate kono bisram lobiya chari nu bhave ro bhayo to so this vaikunth jagat and golok dham each and everything it is actually three path vibhuti in this material world that according to all the demons asuras that infinity demons asuras that kind of mahashwarya vishesh in that also lot of things are there regarding this that in this infinity brahmand is a very far distant thing that this brahmand also that kind of earth we can see that earth bhudevi that from the mars it will be seeing the earth it will be just like a dust particle only this earth so much small we can see that from mars if we will see that from crores of miles it is away from mars so this that is infinity jagat in this material world in this mike jagat that all those individual jeevas that infinity that with all different different people that my swarg vishesh that all this material world are getting entangled in this opulence of the maya devi that that everything is upadan and in that linga ved in that linga yoni sangyug it is actually getting uh, his manifestation from there that by that vigyan that material science in this that according to the material scientific researches or and the actual gyan of material science whatever kind of information that we are getting from someone in that 
infinity that kind of uh, ling jo by they are by the actual bhav of the ling they are actually getting their avir bhav manifestation that up till this point that infinity material things that purish by that purish prakriti they are actually getting their association and getting their avir bhav so the actual point is that regarding this is that that may be it means that it is a very dirty word that linga shabd but still what to do all are actually technical terminology in terms that in the vigyan shastra this kind of tatva in order to understand the meaning it is actually meaningful that inside of a heart that dirtiness is there that's why that our vichar also are getting so much of garbage that inside our heart material garbage is there full of material garbage that our heart is full of material garbage that's why we are actually seeing uh, all rubbish things outside because our heart is only dirty so we will also see dirty things only so so that in this uh, behavioral uh, material world you just need to do that behavior with those material persons that according to this behavioral material people that that thing which is actually very much bad that this uh, in this material world just by taking a, it looks like as a behavior and like a material behavior but still that vigyan and param vigyan according to the material uh, behavior just by not uh, uh, taking that up till they are actually going forward in their bhajan life it means that that vigyan and param vigyan that uh, they are not at all rejecting the samajik material vyavahar material behavior and they are going ahead and they are speaking that they will not be going to destroy that satya sanatan vastu at all so in this material world that mool uh, tatva maik that previously i have already told you regarding this that all these things that in that aprakrit jagat that is uh, aprakrit seed transcendental seed and this in material world this this is actually material seed and uh, that that aprakrit kaam beech that seed is there and it has some form and that kind of kaam what we are facing in this uh, material world they are actually we are actually feeling uh, attraction towards others towards females so this this material tatva mool tatva of this uh, material world is that mool tatva of this isko dikhane ke liye yes in order to so infinite if in double we cannot uh, it is not at all avoid that that kind of all technical terminology is what problem thakur is speaking this is very much important to uh, put in front that by just speaking all these kind of shabd that only poorn shakti avta that kriya uh, by that kriya shakti or sri shakti that karam phal that kriya shakti this you just need to understand it is actually the formative shakti apart from that nothing is there that in this whole material world that uh, those who are those who are all jivatmas that according to their own common fall they are actually taking birth in this material world and they are just uh, focusing on that why because this uh, material body externally just by giving uh, uh, that stool enjoyment it is not at all possible that's why this body it is very much important to take that all those family but also according to their heart they are actually going and sometimes they are that uh, rishi muni brahma so this which are actually is there in this material world according by just seeing one another 
that kind of enjoying mood they are taking there in their life though in order to enjoy each other this kind of vichar is there and they are going ahead in this material world they are actually want to enjoy and some estimation they are busy all the time in that kaam that kind of measuring measuring vichar is there that i will measure that this kind of vichar will not be able to get eligibility in the transcendental world that all this infinity world that all those jivas who are there in this material world that infinity jivas inside that that kind of material material measurement kind of maya darshan is there this is actually maya darshan in that maya darshan they have in that enjoying mood it's all the same they have maya darshan enjoying mood enjoying darshan and all measuring the kind of bhav it is all the same on one platform only but if we will be just doing the actual vichar then in this material world no one actually no one can enjoy anyone other in this material world no one actually can uh, enjoy other as uh, at all this kind of vichar of enjoyment by that contamination that this kind of enjoying mood towards other that he will become he or she will become contaminated by having this kind of vichar they they will becoming totally contaminated but definitely they will get contaminated definitely it will be there why what to do that according to their previous sanskar that kind of enjoying mood is there inside them that infinity material world that in this infinity material world this kind of measuring bhav is there all the way you can see even just when you are going to do darshan of bhagwan the temple there is also one kind of maya darshan there definitely there is also maya darshan are today actually very the dress of krishna is today is very good huh? i like the dress very much okay i'll be i have seen the the uh, krishna of that mud but that is not at all so much good and nicely built i definitely must have taken from jaipur only so this kind of vichar measuring bhav that uh, bhagwan what cloth has taken and what is uh, what kind of mala bhagwan is wearing and uh, bhagwan actually is tall or small and is not at all uh, good and what kind of makeup he has done the, all this kind of arrangement this kind of deceptive attitude that uh, five element elementary bhav the bonded jiva he cannot that tham naam parikan nothing he can see at all of bhagwan this vikre darshan when we are doing that uh, who has bhagwan has taken as a blue or red cloth or not and maybe he is of today's acharya or tomorrow's acharya this is all actually kind of measuring bhav prabhupad always used to speak that bhagwan it means that adhoksha vastu that in order to have that material darshan you cannot it is not at all possible to have darshan of that adhoksha vastu by maya darshan that by that maya darshan this kind of darshan is not at all possible it is impossible next to impossible to get this kind of darshan prabhupad always used to speak and go in front of them and i will be making that vichar that how these people are like and uh, how that shape and design darshan that is all uh, maya darshan that bhagwan seva just by doing the seva of bhagwan slowly steadily that kind of uh, topmost darshan we want to get that bhagwan can just see us that uh, he will be busy in seeing us all the time that is actual darshan that is the actual kripa of bhagwan that we will be taking darshan of bhagwan and how is the mandir is big or small that is actually all maya darshan that mandir is actually our temple is of anant dev it is stayed on that only this 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 actually all mahaprabhu has just speaking prabhupad always used to speak that we are bonded soul and with by this uh, conception we cannot have darshan of bhagwan at all but we have to do such seva 
that bhagwan can be getting should uh, run in uh, in behind us to have darshan of ours we should have this kind of uh, seva for bhagwan all the time we should have to do that kind of seva for bhagwan so that bhagwan can run behind us and want to catch us this is actual uh, actual seva this is actual darshan it means that by actual bhajan that we have to increase our darshan shakti we have to increase that we just need to open our blind eyes it is only possible by guru darshan only in this material world no one actually is a male or no one is a female but still that bhav is there like that that this body is actually according to our own karma phal it is actually given to us and in that some bhav is there some bhav is there that he is male and in someone some has bhav that he is female and according to the prakriti he is getting his body but in actual that both are both are actually material they are somebody actually getting male body and somebody getting female body so this is actually it means that inside both that atma has gone inside from inside then if the body if the atma is getting out of the body from both the male and female body then their body is just material prakriti inert it means that if some female or male there is no one to just configure that difference it means that whatever we are seeing that vokamini kanchan attraction everything is the actual arrangement of maya devi maya devi is actual arrangement of maya devi maya devi actually has just made such a kind of uh, impression on uh, such a kind of uh, different different kind of uh, uh, enjoyment is actually arranged in front of us so that we can enjoy that so if you have that kind of desire you can take that and if you want to go to bhagwan then okay you have to just cut that the tathasta jeev is on neutral that is the actual symptom of tathasta jeev only the actual symptom of the tathasta jeev is this only that sometimes he is actually he wants bhagwan and i will be doing bhajan and at the same time he is uh, wanting that i want to do the bhajan of maya so this is one kind of oscillating condition for a bonded jiva that jiva is that what the inside their heart it is one kind of oscillating condition going on in their heart that just like a pendulum it is compared with that like you can see the pendulum oscillating pendulum sometimes sometimes he is going there sometimes there so it's like a oscillating pendulum so it's all uh, the condition is like this for a bonded jiva no one actually in this material world can enjoy anyone but still this is actually the point that this kind of enjoying would definitely is there inside everyone that whatever kind of arrangements and uh, uh, positive advantage whatever kind of positive arrangements that according to our body and mind it is just connected with that with not atma it is not at all connected with atman it is with connected with our mind our subtle body and fine body it is connected with that all the enjoying things whatever kind of uh, arrangements positive advantage and facilities i am getting it is the actual reason behind this is that someone we just need to give energy to them you have not understood the point what i am speaking that the, whatever the facilities i am getting or the positive advantage i am getting out of that whatever advantage i am getting related to my material body and mind whatever kind of uh, conditions or facilities i am getting in between that definitely i have to sacrifice something for that the mother has just done, done the kitchen and just given a bhog to bhagwan so i am i am enjoying mother so in this material world the one jiva is actually enjoying the other jiva in this material world you haven't understood what i'm speaking it's very important point that with the hot water i have to take bath that hot water who will do or by some electric company officer he will be just manufacturing and doing work and is giving electricity and by electricity we, we cannot see electricity by eyes that the electric current what i am getting and what kind of iron rod i am putting in the water just to get hot water definitely some energy is getting into that it means that in this material world one jeev is actually enjoying the other jeev jeev 
that by the support of other jiva he is getting uh, on in this material world one jeev is getting the support of other jiva without getting the support of other jiva he cannot survive in this material world this is the actual principle of material world but in the transcendental world it is not like that in the transcendental world only and only that enjoy enjoyer is bhagwan and the only the only hero and enjoyer is bhagwan only in that transcendental world and infinity that bhagu bhagwan enjoying facilities are there but in this material world that in this material world that there are infinity enjoyers and there are infinite infinity enjoying things and enjoying things and enjoyers are infinity in this material world the enjoyers are also infinite and the enjoying things just like a hero they are actually enjoying those facilities that is also infinite so that is not at all authentic in this material world authenticity and unauthenticity is no, not authentic and authentic these two words it is of this material world only of the aprakrit jagat that authenticity is there or not this kind of thing will not at all come in that transcendental world in the aprakrit jagat this kind of vichar is not at all there how it can come it is definitely not there only the enjoying and the enjoyer is bhagwan only krishna is there and otherwise everyone is servant only and only bhagwan is the master of all the servants and lot of purush and lot of male and female bodies are there there actually there will be problem definitely there will be problem we have lot of females and lot of female male bodies are there lot of he- heroines and lot of heroes are there but in the transcendental world only and only one hero is there and all other are servants of bhagwan and actually they are to serve bhagwan all the time so just be careful on this point what i'm speaking the to speak siddhant is very much easy but in applicable practically practically you will apply in your life to get applicable in your life it is very much difficult it is very much easy to just uh, uh read it and just listen it and just to remember it but in order to get practically in your life that is very much difficult the after that uh, i'll be going to the 10th number shloka in the 10th number shloka it is written shaktiman purushah swayam ling rupi maheshwara tasmin avirabhut linge mahavishnur jagatpati in this material world whatever different things that we have discovered already discovered in this material world in the in back of that discoverable things there is one uh, nimit karan and upadan karan cause and effect there is nimit cause and nim- upadan effect some ingredients are there behind that like the case i have told you in order to build a building we just need to make bricks clean cements everything we required to make a building different different kind of things we required for that material ingredients are required for that but if these ingredients are that bricks kills everything cement everything is there sand but nobody is there to make that building nobody uh, builder is there to make the building if someone is there then it's okay but if it is not there and the ingredients are there then what is the use of those ingredients very much difficult but shaktiman but shaktiman swayam ling roop maheshwara tasmin avirabhut linge mahavishnu jagatpati so ayam purushah ye jagat mein in this material world in order to make one building also that brick cement skills and everything is required but by this brick cement kill it is not at all possible to build a building the builder is also required that one proprietor should be there why he is actually building that who is actually making uh, the money who is uh, uh, deposit actually investing the money so all these things are required for that so in this material world there is one kind of hidden secrecy is there what is that secrecy the actual secrecy behind this creation is that whatever kind of things we can see that creation or that our body is created and that whole material world civilization that is all actually uh, infrastructural uh, 
थिंग्स बिहाइंड दिस ऑल्सो दैट क्रिएशन दे निमित कारण कॉज एंड इफेक्ट इज देयर द ज्ञान द साइंटिस्ट आर स्पीकिंग कॉज एंड इफेक्ट इज अ मस्ट निमित कारण और प्रधान कारण If there is no cause, then how effect is possible? If effect is there, definitely cause will be there. It is impossible if cause is not, then effect will be there. So that's why it is here written in the tenth number shloka. That upadan my purush. That upadan my purush. Who is that? Those that in Chetanya Chetamrit. We already know that. It is written there that Adad Goswami is Sadashiv, and he is with Mahavishnu. He is actually not different from Mahavishnu. He is actually not different from Mahavishnu. सो उपादान में पुरुष दैट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लिंग दैट लिंग महेश्वर शंभु इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट इन दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड प्रीवियस वीक अबाउट दिस दैट द्वादश ज्योतिर्लिंग ट्वेल्थ ज्योतिर्लिंग्स वॉट वी कैन फाइंड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन इंडिया डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेसेज इट इज सिटुएटेड सोमनाथ इज देयर ओमकार ओमकारेश्वर बैद्यनाथ एवरी थिंग एवरी ऑल आर एक्चुअली ज्योतिर्लिंग ट्वेल्व ज्योतिर्लिंग्स इट कम्स इन दोज कैटेगरीज एवरी वन एवरी थिंग इज ज्योतिर्लिंग वॉट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ज्योतिर्लिंग मीन्स दैट भगवान वैन एक्चुअली हैविंग अ ग्लांस ऑन दैट प्रकृति वाइल जस्ट मेकिंग वन ग्लांस ऑन द प्रकृति एट दैट टाइम द बीम ऑफ लाइम एक्चुअली इज फॉलिंग इट्स नॉट लाइकली लाइट इट्स जस्ट लाइक लाइट आई हैव जस्ट कंपेयर इट विद लाइट बट इट्स नॉट लाइट वॉट एवर जीव आत्मा ऑल दीज जीव आत्मा विद सम ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू गिव दैट कंपेरिजन बिकॉज इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड देर इज नो अदर ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट आत्मा विल बी लाइक दैट लाइक लाइट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल Atma is just equivalent to light. It, this kind of conception can't come at all. It exactly it is not like light. You cannot compare Atma with light. But that is why Atma is just like light. You can just have one kind of uh, a comparison. But that comparison is also not correct comparison because it's material. Light is material and Atma is transcendental in nature. Atma is like that. We can just have one kind of. Uh, frame for that but it doesn't mean that at atma will be exactly like that it's not that like it is just one comparative statement just comparison so that you can understand what atma will be looking like in the vedant sutra also in the vedant sutra also it is written that how atma is look how, how atma looks like how atma is look like actually what is the identification of atma it's written that atma is gunat alag bad means that atma it's just like uh, compared with the light particle that just comparison is made it just like that but it's not like that exactly it is just compared why because atma is transcendental in nature the only it is written there in vedan sutra that atma how it looks like it is qualitatively it is like light particle it's not like it's not light if it will be light then definitely it will become material object of this material world only so it is just like light it is not the uh, thing object of material world definitely if we are actually getting this body and we are getting trapped in this maya but definitely atma is not uh, a material vastu it is transcendental so that's why in order to give a comparison it's very much difficult that's why in the vedan sutra it is written atma is आलोक 
that if you make the vichar of guna then you will look like that as if it is just like a light particle atma but it's not like that this is not the conception when in the standing sabha all the sabha when bhagwan shri krishna was at the time of raj surya yagya when he was just cutting the head of shishupal by the sudarshan chakra by sudarshan chakra when shishupal's head got cut by bhagwan shri krishna at that time all in the sabha they can see after cutting the head all the rishi munis and all the different persons can all the devtas they can just see that after cutting the head of shishupal the atma just went away from his body just like a light of a lamp just like a light like like a light coming out of the lamp you can see similarly that atma just came out from the body of shishupal and going on to the lotus feet of bhagwan at the lotus feet of bhagwan that uh, light particle just goes like a lamp that atma of shishupal after getting killed by bhagwan shri krishna so it looks like that it is just like a flame of light very very light very small but atma cannot be seen by your naked eyes so this all shlokas are there in the upanishads so whatever be the case so shaktiman purushah shu ayam ling rup maheshwara that bhagwan when actually is just looking to the on to the prakriti that whatever just like a beam of light is going on to hit the prakriti that dwadash telv jyotirlings just got self manifested when some light when comes to us then a branches of light we can see out of that and and in, it is not at all possible to get that because the scientists are making this kind of uh, conception that a pencil ray pencil ray means that when you can see towards the sun at the time of morning you can just uh, scientifically see that that some light source or when you will be seeing towards the sun because in the afternoon time you cannot see the sun in the morning time very early in the morning you can see the sunlight that that at the time of 8 o'clock or sometimes you can see sunlight and there once some beam of light is coming it seems that it is just beam of light is coming from uh, from the sun this beam of light actually here actually sometimes you can see you will just be uh, you when you will be seeing that uh, glowing bulb also you can discover a branches of light there but here when you will be seeing the sun then there will be crystal ray of light it means that one ray is there it looks like it's very different from that of the light it's coming from the light source that is called pencil ray it means that it looks all the same like the case i in the previous uh, olden times that a straight line in the olden times in the mathematics this kind of already conception we have learned in the childhood that what is straight line that straight line which which has some length which has some breadth which don't have any breadth it is it has some length that is called straight line and the scientists are speaking this is not at all possible this is totally absurd why so whatever it can be very small or very large it is impossible to be measured but still which has some length definitely his breadth will definitely will be there which object has length that don't have breadth it is not at all possible which have length but don't have breadth if one straight line in the paper i have already written one straight line i have just drawn that and in that straight line that only length is there of straight line no breadth is there it is not at all possible it is not at all possible it cannot be possible why because those who are actually calculus what is there in the mathematics they understood this point that they they can understand the conception of length and breadth it tends to zero infinity tends to zero this having length and breadth maybe it will be tending towards almost zero but it's not that not it is less than zero but not equivalent to zero it looks like it is a straight line there is one line and it don't have any breadth no no it cannot be possible the scientist mathematician speaking 
which have length definitely whatever uh, uh, small in size it be be very uh, small in size it may be if it if it has length then definitely it must be having breadth it cannot be possible that it has length but it don't have any breadth it is not at all possible so this kind of which are we by calculus we can just understand this concept tends to in zero tends to infinity like this So, Shaktiman Purusha, Swayam, Lingo, Rupi, Maheshwara, Dados, Jab Bhagwan, Vendvadvash Bhagwan, Prakriti ka urdhi, When he is just seeing towards the Prakriti, then a beam of light just coming from the transcendental eyes of Bhagwan, just by seeing Prakriti at that time, that Shambhur Linga, that one in the form of Jyoti, it is getting self-manifested in this uh, material platform in front of us. And this beam of light, when the, just like a pencil ray also it is compared with, it can be a pencil ray as well, but this kind of conception is not at all, in order to just catch this concept is not at all possible for us. This light, when you will be seeing towards a bulb for a certain amount of time, then a ray of light, beam of pencil ray of light is coming out of that. There, out of that one pencil ray also we can see that. So, Upadan Purush, that Lingo Rupi Maheshwar Shambhu, he is the Nimit Swarup, he is Nimit Swarup, the cause and effect, that Nimit Ansh Maya Rup Shakti Ansh, it means that this Lingarupi Maheshwar, that Dwadva Jyotir Ling, it is coming in the form of 12 Jyotir Lings in front of us. There is also one kind of proof regarding this that Somnath, Vaidyanath, everyone is actually Jyotir Ling. All are different 12 Jyotir Lings are there in this India. Rameshwaram, Malika Arjun, every, all are actually Jyotir Ling. These are Jyotir Linga. In this India, there are 12 Jyotir Lings like that all over the all over the India in different different places. It is getting spread. It. So this actually what you can see a beam of light what is coming from Mahavishnu. It is just not light. I have already told you it just like light. It is not exactly light because when already actually in there in the active form in Vishnu and after that it is coming out of the transcendental eyes of Vishnu and when the transcendental eyes of the Vishnu just coming out it is just getting established in the form of Ling with the Prakirti and according to Jivas according to their previous Sanskar they are getting this body so cause Upadin Purush Ling that Maheshwar Shambhu is getting that with Nimit Ansh Swarup he is getting associated with Maya Shakti the actual meaning behind this is that that inside Param Brahm which is actually non-different from uh, Narayan actually which is non-different from Krishna is actually manifesting there that he has that Chatur Vyuha that Chatur Vyuha that, that inside that Chatur Vyuha what kind of Sankarshan that uh, the Krishna's Vilas Vigraha at Vigrayansh of Krishna Vilas that on the basis of that Chit Shakti on the basis of that Chit Shakti in the form of one's Ansh in one Kal of Surja that in the, in the Virja river that Mahavishnu Swayam actually is just in a uh, sleeping position in the Virja river he is actually present in, transcendently there and he is actually just present there at a very far distant thing that uh, shadow Shakti of Maya just by having a, a beam having a glance over Maya Devi and the, all the Jeevas are getting manifested from there and at that time Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually speaking at that time immediately Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking immediately that time Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking At that time, Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually speaking regarding this, that that 
ਦੱਸਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਦੈਟ ਚਿਦ ਇਕਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਸੈਂਡੈਂਟਲ ਬੀਮ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਟ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਸੈਂਡੈਂਟਲ ਲਾਈਜ਼ ਆਫ ਮਹਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਨੂ ਵੈਨ ਗਲਾਂਸਿੰਗ ਓਵਰ ਦੈਟ ਮਾਇਆ ਦੇਵੀ ਦੈਟ ਵਿਦ ਰੁਦਰ ਸਵਰੂਪ ਦੈਟ ਰੁਦਰ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਮਾਇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਸ਼ੰਭੂ ਇਜ਼ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਿਡ ਵਿਦ ਨਿਮਿਤ ਅੰਸ਼ ਮਾਇਆ ਇਜ਼ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਿਰਤੀ ਐਂਡ ਅਦਵੈਤ ਗੋਸਾਈ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਹਿਮ ਦੈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਉਪਾਦਾਨ ਕਾਰਨ ਦੇ ਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਕਾਜ਼ਸ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾ ਅਵਤਾਰ ਇਵ ਅਯਮ ਅਦਵੈਤ ਆਚਾਰਜ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਰਾਹ ਇਹ ਬਤਾਇਆ ਦਿਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਟੋਲਡ so the actual which are here will be at that time bhagwan that which is ashwarya pradhan that is that uh, non different uh, uh, from krishna that narayan is actually there and uh, from that that inside that chaturvyuha that mahasankarshan uh, vilas that vigra ansh that chit shakti the on the power of the chit shakti in that jeev ansh that at one time in the srishti kalp that at the bank of virajaravi inside viraja river at the karan ocean that mahavishnu is residing there very far distant place he is having that shadow maya is present there he is just by having a glance over that Uh, shadow maya the beam of light was actually coming from the transcendent light of that mahavishnu that same transcendental beam of light when it is coming in the form of the rudra swarup that uh, jyotir ling that linga swarup is getting associated with that uh, prakriti maya but still that vishnu directly that mahavishnu is not at all getting associated with directly with the maya that apart from that they can't do anything the actual direct association with mahavishnu of maya is not at all possible that there is no contact of mahavishnu directly with maya just only a glance over maya just by that only in the form of shambhu that association is possible with maya so all these two processes what i have already described you here that it is actually the ansh of krishna and in the form of krishna's ansh that is mahavishnu in the archa avatar swarup that mahatatva is actually getting manifested from there that from mahavishnu it is getting manifested that mahat mahatatva is the possibility of this creation but how mahatatva is actually getting divided and everything is getting the and how what is satyagun and what is rajogun like this it is all divided that mahavishnu that whatever anukul that kind of uh, false ego that mahavishnu what is anukul that shiva shakti kramash that kind of ego and all kind of five elements water and water air ether and all kinds of uh, that uh, sense organs of the jivas that they are actually getting into this material creation by the mahavishnu that all by what do you mean by getting created the material sense organs if material sense organs are not there how he can enjoy material things if the previous sanskar is not there then how he can just enjoy this question will come so that's why material sense organs are very much important means that material sense organs by which we cannot understand bhagwan at all only we and you you and my and this conception and whatever objects of this material world mahavishnu are there mahavishnu just by the glance of uh, glance of uh, beam of light i have already told you he just looking at the shadow maya and about this i will be just discussing it uh, further as well lot of shlokas are there regarding this so which i i have to discuss in front of you so here i have already described up till this shloka that uh, 12 jyotirlinga which i wanted to told you maya sangi lingo tattva maya sangi lingo tattva that the tat which i already told you that maya sangi lingo tattva about that i have already spoken to you sip art or no only 8th and 9th 
there is actually proof there that bhagwan is is uh, shum, taking the form of shambhur linga and is getting associated with the prakriti and prakriti after and uh, getting into and then the womb is acting getting activated of that uh, prakriti and when will be going forward from 10 to 21 when will be going ahead from from the 10th number shlok to the 21st shlok the actual creation of the srishti create creation of this material world and garbhodakshayam from garbhodakshayam mahavishya rajasattva and tamogun that kind of adi dev swarup that prajapati rudra vishnu and brahma is acting uh, manifested and about the jivas uh, srishti creation and uh, the relationship with bhagwan from the 10th up till the 21st shloka i will be discussing from the coming few weeks we will be discussing about the creation of this material world how actually this material world is created in this srishti tatva while be just, just describing that garbhodakshay mahavishnu has been satyarajo and tamogun has just manifested and that adi dev swarup vishnu prajapati and rudra all these brahma vishnu and mahesh are actually getting manifested and after that and after that the actual manifestation of the jivas that their actual relationship with this material world and the actual relationship of the jivas with this material world maybe it is already written that the actual starting of the jivas but still i have already given you this information that when the actual in at the starting of the creation i have already told you this but still jeev atma there is no actually date it is from infinity period their creation is going on from for infinity period the jivas are also nitya and bhagwan is also nitya vastu this this kind of words i am actually using srishti srishto this words actually i am using just by using these words a finite conception can get inside our heart when uh, this uh, creation has been done srishti adi srishti sthiti this all kind by these all words if we are we are finding that this is one kind of finite conception will be coming inside our heart that uh, srishti uh, apart from that nothing is there so definitely this finite conception will come inside us but still i have already told you that jeev is actually is also infinite and bhagwan is also from the infinite period it means that this it is there in this material creation but still it is there in this material creation so that's why i'm using this word so that finite conception should not come this conception is there if uh, some particular object and some srishti and some historical background we want to know that it has just uh, started like this so it will be a finite conception so it's written in the shastras regarding this jeev is actually sanatan bhagwan is actually sanatan vastu transcendental jeev is also from infinity time period it's also uh, how it is created jeevas it is also written in the shastra but finite conception is not at all possible for jeevas as well it is all they are also inconceivable they are also nitya it is also transcendental in nature so when we will be going in front ahead the i will be just discussing about the srishti tatva so in the 11th number surely actually it is coming इट मीन्स हेयर दैट दैट सेम जगतपति दैट सेम जगतपति महाविष्णु इन साइड हैज थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ फेसिस इट हैव थाउजेंड थाउजेंड इन्फिनिटी लोटस फीट एंड इन्फिनिटी आर्म्स इन्फिनिटी लेग्स एंड इन्फिनिटी आइज आर हैविंग दैट इन्फिनिटी इन अवतार्स दे हैव एंड दिस दैट इज कॉल्ड विश्वात्मा दैट जगत आधार द एक्चुअल आधार ऑफ दिस जगत दैट विश्वात्मा इज देयर एंड एंड इन्फिनिटी दैट इन्फिनिटी क्रिएशन ही इज एक्चुअली डूइंग 
this sahasra this word i am actually using sahasra it doesn't mean thousand here the word actually sahasra i am actually actually written it means a direct meaning of this what do you mean you don't understand the word like this that bhagwan has thousands of arms and thousands of thousands of arms is there it's not like that this actually is there this uh, in this shloka that when written in the shastras it doesn't mean that it has 1000 are it's written sahasra 1000 yes definitely it is written sahasram which is 1000 but it is actually indicating that it is infinity you cannot count that jeev ko swami pad in gopal gopal sahasra naam one commentary he is writing there that this sahasra sahasra this word actually used here it is not meant that it is 1000 that it is from infinity it is actually indicating infinite this is actually indication of infinite or nothing else that sahasra sahasra means that it is by this vichar if you can understand if definitely have some 1000 heads or someone having that thousands of heads then definitely your eyes will be double it will be 2000 hai na it will be like that so this vichar is not at all that this is material conception In material comparison you cannot put the vichar is totally different from that this jagatpati that mahavishnu having sahasra sahasra it means that infinity heads and infinity arms everything is infinite for him and infinity eyes and infinity lotus feet infinity eyes and infinity arms and infinity infinity avatar he is actually taking and this same actually tatvis vishwatma and that he is actually just doing the from the anadi material creation he is doing that it means that that in the what is actually, the actual meaning is that that he is the actual by all the vedas it is actually getting uh, glorified that mahavishnu that for infinity that all infinity power that from the infinity cause of all the causes and the infinity avatars what are actually coming from that mahavishnu he is the actual mool purush major purush that is the actual mool purush that he is the actual cause of all the causes infinity causes of all the causes that he is anant karan sakshi vishesh mean that infinity power is there inside him and the, he is actually doing atma uh, self manifestation in this material world we haven't understand what i am speaking it means that that we just need to sharpen the pencil that pencil cutter we just need to cut sharpen the pencil we just need to put that into the pencil sharper and after that we are just rotating it in the pencil sharper in order to get that uh, pencil sharpen more and that same bhagwan if we are all the jeevas actually coming from bhagwan if this kind of vichar if you will be doing that apart from bhagwan there is no tatva apart from that only bhagwat tat if you will be making a very in depth vichar then that advai gyan tat apart from that there is no other tatva available but still that up by our achintya bhedave tatva definitely that diversity is also getting established maybe bhagwan having that infinity opulence is and maybe bhagwan we are speaking that he is advai gyan tat do is bhagwan is that i have already told you it's all the same both the both the things are same that's why that same bhagwan in the sarva ved he is actually glorified 
in all the seva all the veda jay that mahavishnu that karana shakti vishesh that with all the avatars are actually there in that bhagwan he is actually glorified in all the vedas that word actually sarva vishesh as this word you it means that it means that that bhagwan is actually actual mool of all the avatars definitely he is infinity avatars he is the actual cause of all the avatars and uh, all the infinity avatars he is actually taking in infinity brahmand and apart from that bhagwan that whatever is actually coming from bhagwan that jeevatmas are coming that bhagwan actually in geeta is speaking so this also actually the by achinta veda ved shakti it is actually non different from bhagwan definitely it is there non different and at the same time different and non difference both the abbreviations are there applicable it is different and non different that by this achintya ved ved shakti that bhagwan that it is different as well as that infinity brahmand and all the jeevatmas that by achintya ved ved tatva actually it is have some relationship with that that achintya by achintya ved ved shakti actually it is getting related with that it is having some relationship with the bhagwan and if by bhagwan that all the all the by that ajinta veda ved shakti that adhyagan tatva is getting the uh, siddh what do you mean by that the meaning of this is that that this chinmay jivatma that whosoever whosoever is coming from mahavishnu it is actually in the womb of prakriti that whosoever is taking birth different different jivatmas are getting birth in the womb of prakriti that prakriti is your body that the elephant body is actually material that whatever atma is there inside that elephant is actually transcendental so this transcendental jivatma if it is not there inside the body of that elephant then what is the use of that body of elephant no no use so it looks like that it is something some joint venture is there i can't use this word joint venture as all also why because prakriti is actually inert it has no life at all prakriti is inert vastu and so how i can speak it is joint venture this question actually is coming mahaprabhu actually is giving answer uh, regarding this question like the a stick of iron mahaprabhu giving one answer regarding this that prakriti alone cannot do anything at all prakriti is actually inert it is just inert totally lifeless but still like i'll give you one example what mahaprabhu has given that inside prakriti whatever kind of different different jeevatma is infinity jeevatma is are there these jeevatmas together with this material body and with atma that they have just taken this body so now that elephant when with the in the form of atma it is that tree he will definitely break all the trees that he has taken the swarup of uh, atma has taken the swarup of elephant from the prakriti and each and every tree he will crush that he will be just uh, destroying that and crushing that so this is the cause this actually all the trees this elephant elephant is actually is played the role of just breaking the trees so now the elephant is just an instrument to break those trees so this is the actual cause and you are speaking that uh, your uh, walking sitting eating whatever going sitting whatever eating whatever you are doing it is actually that like in science we are speaking there is cause and effect or both the words are there cause and effect in the in the science this is a very important word in science if cause is not there then how effect is possible if cause is not there how effect is possible this cause and effect is a very important uh, abbreviation in science so if cause is there effect will definitely be there and if effect is there then cause will definitely be there this i will give you one example regarding this there is one effect or uh, immediately that one scientist jan jan janu kuri and madam kuri immediately they have just seen one effect what effect they have saw that jan madam kuri and janu kuri they are in the england they are actually born in england 
and they have just found one effect they are actually taking one uh, waste product from the factory that bleach bleach peach blend they are taking from a factory that waste product and from that peach blend slowly steadily by very working hard day and night they are taking very slight uranium out of that from the peach blend that this uranium in the dryer they are putting they are putting in one drawer and maybe i will be doing doing the work tomorrow today we'll be taking rest and they are just putting that uranium in the drawer or one table there is down one drawer is there they are putting that uranium and immediately what happened that by chance there is a new film was there that crude film was there the what by which we are clicking photos that film of photo photo is there and it is uh, present there and when they get up in the morning and they just uh, uh, open the drawer in that film they saw that their white rays are there in that film are how it is possible this is actually new film how this white rays are possible in this film how it is possible that this uh, light how it's possible how it is becoming dark how it is impossible to get that so how who has done this and next day and again next day they are be, they are putting one new film there again and after that they have just concluded that is the effect the effect we discover here in this film definitely some uh, mystery is there and after that they have seen that definitely that definitely this uh, this uranium which metal is there something uh, contagious uh, object must be there out of that otherwise this is the our daily activity to just put one film there and how this film get uh, dark how it is becoming dark by we are why we are getting those white marks on that film this ray actually they have discovered that alpha beta and gamma rays they have discovered out of that this alpha beta and gamma that what has come out of that this is actually very radioactive elements they are very radioactive in nature and those radioactive element definitely these rays are coming out of that alpha beta and gamma rays cause the cause the cause what the actual cause was there and effect automatically they have seen they have seen the they have seen the cause and that it get transformed into the effect so that's why this just be careful on this point up till this point i'll be just giving rest up till this point tomorrow i'll be just again discussing on this point i will be just trying to discuss on this point again and the shlok which i have already started with that i will be just uh, today i will be again describing it and tomorrow i'll be just describing it in brief अंदश मे हेतु विवेको महाधन से चौर प्रभु बलिंद्रियो नाम धेव महांदकूप कुहरे विपाति दिवेश देही कृपण से करावलबन दिवेश देही कृपण से करावलबन वाचकल्पतुष्ठिक पतितान पावन भो विष्णुभ्यो नमो नमः